plaintiff, Eva Rodriguez, says her dog was the love of her life. But unfortunately, after the defendant's pit bull attacked her two times in a month, Eva's dog passed away. Eva's suing the defendant for veterinarian bills. Defendant Raven Taylor regrets that her dog attacked Eva's dog, but insists her dog has never been violent before this incident. Raven says she did everything she could to make this situation right, but Eva refused to show her the vet bill. All right, what happened? Well, um, Your Honor, I live with my son and his wife, and um, we're dog lovers. We had two chihuahuas, <clears throat> and um, everyone in the park loved Shiloh. She's, uh, she's not with us anymore. This is all we have of her. Um, everyone in the complex loved her. She was a very sweet dog. She was also an emotional support dog for me. My son uh, was blonde-headed, like Shiloh was, and uh, he passed away three years ago from a heart attack. And um, her hair reminded me of him, and so I, it, it seemed like she just knew when the, I was feeling bad and mm -hmm. she would come in and I'd rub her and pet her. Everyone really loved her, but we don't have her anymore because the defendant's dog, which is a pit bull, killed her and attacked her not once, but twice. Over what time frame did it happen to One her? month. So One month in between. Defendant Raven Taylor is being sued by her neighbor, who claims Raven's pit bull attacked her dog and killed her. Tell me the first time. Um, the first time, Shiloh had a, a daughter, so we had two, two chihuahuas. The first time, um, her dog came from like two buildings over and ran up to our door. We were standing in the doorway with the dogs. And uh, my son was, who usually takes them for walks and takes care of them. And um, her dog attacked the, uh, the baby girl and grabbed her leg and tore a hole in it and tore the skin off. And my son reached up and threw her into the flower planter and by the time he turned around to get Shiloh, he had already got her and tore all the skin off of her back. Did the baby dog survive? Yes. Yes, she's traumatized right now, though. She, she's not even going to the and bathroom. That was approximately we're... when? What month and year, if you can remember? This was June and July. Okay, and what, tell me the second. Now. The second time it happened the same way. Her dog came around, two buildings over. Um, the baby dog wasn't there, just Shiloh was. And it uh, grabbed Shiloh, had it in her mouth, and tore all her muscles off of her body. And she passed away at the animal hospital. What do you say, ma'am? Um, I just want to start off by saying that I do apologize that you have to grieve about the loss of your dog. My, I've been living in my car, apartment complex for about a year and, you know, a couple of months. My dog has never been violent. She's been around the kids, other dogs my dogs and the family and stuff like that. She never has been violent what or aggressive. Kids? What children, what kids? I have sisters, younger sisters, and we have neighbors that stay downstairs. They have children that know Zoe, and you know, they'll pet her every time they see her and stuff like that. Like, it was plenty of people that They're knew They're not Zoe. strangers. Yeah, they wasn't strangers. Got it, we're talking about strangers. But, um, I think we're talking about strangers, but you go ahead. Yeah, I understand. But I had just got off work. The first incident that it had happened, you know, I'm pregnant, my feet was hurting. I let my dog outside. I brought her outside with a leash on. I let her go use the bathroom. Well, I was walking her around, letting her use the bathroom, and she was taking a long time to, you know, take her number two and stuff. So I figured I'd just let her off the leash so I can sit on a little ledge that we do got outside to rest my feet. And I heard Eva's dogs whining outside of her apartment. My dog, her attention went to the dogs. I got up to try to get the dog to get the attention to me, but she wasn't focused on me. So she ran around the corner, and by the time I got around the corner with the dogs, the dog, she already had the dogs. So it wasn't too much I could do besides hit Zoe. I was beating my dog, punching her, kicking her, trying to get my dog off of her dogs and stuff like that. Like it was really, it was just a lot going that on. That was the first day. time? Yes, that was the first time. So what did you do as a result of that? Um, I gave vicious, him my phone after number. This is animal attacked her baby dog. What did mm -hmm. you do after that? After the situation because had it happened, happened again, so I'm just wondering what you did after the first time. After this first situation happened, I offered them to take my phone number down so they could call me and let me know when they got back from the vet. 
I told them to bring me the vet bill. I would pay for everything. Like, it wasn't a problem. What would you do with your dog to keep your dog from doing that to anyone else's dog? Kept my dog on a leash. Pardon me? Kept my dog on a leash. So it didn't happen the second time? It did happen the second time. But the second time we so had no control. So why didn't it stop the first, after the first time? Because we had no control over the situation the second and time. And so the second time, what happened? The dog ran outside. Somebody left the apartment door open downstairs. Yeah, again, your dog got away again. Yeah, but I wasn't I'm saying you didn't do anything to stop it. It happened once. Your vicious pit bull, it happened once, attacked her dog the second time. You should have corrected it the first time. The second time, it does the same thing and kills him within a month. Yeah, and I understand, but her I'm dog. I'm glad you do. Uh, you have any defense? I guess not. By law, vicious animals, uh, you're responsible by law. And so I'm going to hold her liable. Judgment for the plaintiff. Okay. All right. Thank you. Have a good day. You don't deserve an animal. You don't either. It was unfair about how this whole situation went down. I did everything that I could to make this situation right. I told you that I would continue to make payments Except to you if you show me. Dog. I said that I would agree to make payments to you if you show me that you were making the payments I to the vet bill. You did you. not show me that you were making the payments to the vet bill, so you. I did not continue to make I payments. I don't to have you. to. Okay, show and you. that's fine. And that's why we're here today. I have right. no problem with that. Right. That's why you're paying.